And today we're going to be analyzing this problem, which asks us to describe the phase constant phi for the simple harmonic motion in this figure, which is the displacement versus time graph. So as we know, the displacement is a function of time. It can be written as follows. It's, it's equal to the amplitude of the displacement multiplied by the cosine of omega t plus phi. So if we draw this out, as follows, this is displacement x and t. The displacement of a particle in simple harmonic motion is described by a cosine function. So we start at maximum amplitude, go to negative maximum amplitude, go back to positive maximum amplitude. The same occurs on the left here. <clears throat> so this is at t equals 0 right here. This would be pi over 2. This is pi, half a wavelength, you could say. And then the next peak occurs at 2 pi, 2 pi radians. And this is negative for pi. Okay, so we're looking to translate this graph, original graph here, into this new graph that has a phase constant. So there's two possibilities. We can either translate this peak at t equals zero to the right, which is a negative phase constant, as it's a translation to the right, or we can translate this peak at two pi to the left, which is a positive phase constant. So if we look at this original graph here, we can see that it is at t equals zero, we're not exactly at negative maximum amplitude. It could be, but we're slightly above maximum negative amplitude. So that means that this peak here is between pi over two here and pi. And we can see this by Say we take this, ne this maximum negative amplitude and negative pi and we move it to the right. It's not exactly a translation of pi to the right. So that means this peak, which is at t equals zero, is not fully pi to the right. So if we take the original peak at t equals zero, the phase constant phi has to be bigger than negative of pi. Has to be bigger than negative of pi. But since the peak is between pi over 2 and pi, it has to be less than negative pi over 2. So it's between a pi over 2 and pi to the right. Now say we analyze this peak at 2 pi, and we're moving it to the left. So it moves to the left to a position that is between pi over 2 and pi. So it has to move at least pi, but less than 3 pi over 2. So another possible phase constant value is bigger than pi, but is less than 3 pi over 2. So if we look at our solutions, there's two possible answers. We have A, which is a translation to the right, or we have B, which is a translation to the left. And C is not a possible answer. So the answers for this question are A, and B as we can either translate left or right. Thank you for watching, hope I helped out.